Recently, we learned that the 2011 budget deficit is projected to be $1.5 trillion. Fear not, cried the new Republican majority. We'll cut the deficit by $100 billion. Of course, by the time they got around to the details, the proposed cuts were down to $74 billion. But Democrats like Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid condemned the cuts as unworkable, even more draconian than we originally anticipated, and like throwing puppies into a volcano while kicking orphans. <laughs> Okay, I made most of that last line up, but these must be some pretty severe cuts, right? In order to bring perspective to the scale of these cuts, and because I can no longer deal with politics without drinking, we'll be using Jack Daniels as a visual aid. Let's say that one shot of sour mash is $100 billion. The year Harry Reid and the Democrats took control of Congress, the deficit was one and a half shots. The following year, the deficit jumped to four and a half shots. Suddenly, we had gone from a manageable amount of deficit to the largest one in U.S. history. Fortunately for us, Obama, the candidate, promised to rein in spending and reduce this massive deficit. Unfortunately for us, the following year, tax revenue collapsed, the stimulus passed, and we're looking at downing 14 hard shots of deficit in a single year. This wasn't just a world record, it blew the previous record away by so much that we can only look back at four and a half shots of deficit as a fond memory to which we may someday return like a discarded kitten who scratched up our couch but was infinitely preferable to the starving hyena we selected to replace it. At 15 shots, or 1.5 trillion dollars, this year is looking a little bit worse than the last one. And how will the draconian cuts affect the 2011 deficit? like taking three quarters of a shot out of this last glass. That seems a little more workable than the deficit increases we've seen under Senator Reid's leadership.